Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to kind of walk through my PvP build that I've been currently using in this open beta. The clips that you've been seeing in this solo PvP as well as really group PvP is going to be all about the rapier and both. So you're actually going to be able to see here my attributes or attributes that I've been running. So 102 dexterity is what I currently am using with about 41 constitution. So I do like the idea of getting that 5% thrust damage with, you know, being just level 23. Unfortunately, I'm not able to take advantage of 150, 200, 250, or 300 attribute bonuses there. Uh, but, you know, realistically, I like the idea of also going medium armor. So here you can see while wearing medium light armor, your dodge is a quick hop. Do you deal 10% bonus? damage in healing crowd obviously control uh really debuffs you apply also last 10 percent longer so that's going to be very very strong for certain abilities and uh i do want to say realistically that this is one of my favorite builds right now uh you know the rapier and fire staff definitely going to be the other one but if we take a look at the weapon mastery and go into detail so rapier right now level 13 bow level 14 this is my current levels obviously on the rapier and bow and you can see that this is what i'm currently running on the rapier so obviously the gray side of things you guys have seen the gray side before i'm running evade i'm running repost i'm running flesh i'm not going to go into too much else because these are all kind of just you know very very obvious to build repost you're going to want all three options underneath you're going to want all three options underneath the flesh as well and then obviously i am going to finish the gray side or sorry the evade side of things if uh you know i do get this you know more levels into the rapier here. I will continue with Allegro, uh, you know, Adijo, or I'm not even sure how you say it, Adigo, um, and then also Crescendo. So there's a lot of opportunities here for huge, huge extra damage. And individual successful light attacks reduce the cooldown of this ability by 30%. Absolutely huge, obviously, when using Evade. I do want to jump into the bow side of things because we've, you, most of you, if you've been here for a while, you've seen the rapier side of things when it comes to the abilities. But if we go to the bow, you can actually see the Evade shot being the number one uh, or my Q. And then we have next up the penetrating shot going to be very very strong very easy to use and then the poison shot so the poison shot is going to be very very strong as well if you guys go all the way down to the direct hit if you directly hit a target with the poison shot it actually deals 200 percent more damage that along with the mark so you deal 10 percent more damage to foes suffering from a debuff along with the battle precision so debuff damage over time durations last 20 percent longer going to be a very very solid stack and it's obviously going to do a lot of extra damage if you're able to hit them penetrating shot just being a very very easy shot to hit as well as evade shot so you can see some of these abilities here um, let's see if we can find maybe even just a tree that i can hit i don't really care what i'm shooting at but uh if there's anything nearby it's it's okay to just shoot at nothing and you guys can kind of see and that's probably what we're going to stick with unfortunately no pvp is running around right beside me right now or i would show you and i'll show you guys some pvp gameplay by the way at the end of the video so if you guys want to see what this build looks like in gameplay um i'll have some uh, really some uh you know i guess what am i looking for here i will have some uh, kind of examples is what I'm looking for. So here's penetrating shot going to be just the really quick shot So you can see how fast that is you just pull it up and boom You also have the evade shot you can actually turn when you shoot makes it very very easy depending on your sensitivity to uh, you know really hit a target very like i said very simply and easy and then we have the poison shot which is just another quick kind of like penetrating shot but obviously applying poison um in that area so it's going to be very very good for group pvp when you able are able to hit you know a target with that and surround all of his uh, allies with that extra damage as well then we have the gray side of things obviously being evade which can you know dodge any kind of attack if you use it correctly then you have the flesh that you have the uh you know passive underneath it or you know the part of the flesh that lets you you know stop your flesh and backstab and then we have the repose so you guys have seen the repose before you guys will see that obviously in some of this gameplay as well that i showcase at the end of the video i just wanted to go over my pvp build that i've been using in the open beta a lot of you guys have had questions about it for the most part uh you know if i do get these maxed out i would uh you know go through a huge build on level 20 pvp builds for this exact purpose and we will definitely do that obviously during release for the rapier bow rapier fire staff as well as so many other weapons i'm going to try to get 20 on every single weapon when the game comes out so i can really showcase all of the different side of pve and pvp side of things like i said a lot of cool things to really showcase so i'm gonna let you guys get to it as you guys can hopefully see some great pvp gameplay <laughs> 